Two teams that opened up Big South play with wins on Thursday night meet at the Winthrop Coliseum at noon on Saturday. Mike Winthrop and Radford get together for the Eagles. It was a team effort against Charleston Southern. Absolutely. Keon Johnson had 27 points, 10 of 13 at the free throw line, 7 assists. But he also had Xavier Cooks with a double-double. Breon Broman off the bench had 15 to a complete win. And Pat Kelsey knows this is the effort his team has to put in every night. Every single game. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a war, and they're always going to come down to the uh, the last couple possessions, and it's going to be that way for the next two months. Uh, I was proud of our guys, you know, in a tough environment against a uh, really good, young, explosive team. Radford improved to 5-0 at home by beating defending league champion UNC Asheville on Thursday. And, Mike, it was kind of an upset to a lot of people. This is a dangerous Highlander team. Absolutely, and their strength really is on the defensive end when it comes to rebounding. They're out-rebounding their opponents by three, and Pat Kelsey very aware of that advantage for Radford. Yeah, that's, that's always huge. Um, can't allow teams to get second opportunities. Um, so, you know, that's been a point of emphasis. We've been getting better and better at it. And uh, it's going to be a big test with Radford because they're going to crash with great ferocity, and we got to do a good job of limiting that aspect of their game. Winther beat Radford in both regular season meetings last year, but, Mike, the second win up at the Dedman Center, it took a heroic effort. Yeah, they got a heavy dose of Keon Johnson in both games, 48 points combined, and he had the buzzer beater at Radford last year. Winthrop with a win can get to 2-0. and The same story for the Highlanders. For Winthrop, if they get a victory, they're sixth in the month of December. Winthrop hasn't won that many games in the final month of the year since 1989-1990. Join us on the Big South Network and the Winthrop Sports Network Saturday afternoon.